Hi, I'm Gwen with Terra Software. I'm here with Brian Malpass at Malpass Farms. How are you doing today, Ryan? Good. How are you? Very good, thank you. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. It is. So, um, tell me a little bit about your farming operation, what your crops are like, and if you irrigate or non-irrigation. So we're, um, I'm fourth generation here in the Willamette Valley. Uh, we get about 50 inches of uh, rainfall a year. Um, we can grow up to 250 uh, cool season crops. Um, on our farm currently, we are primarily grass grown for seed. So that's um, uh, plain surfaces, lawns, pastures, rangelands, uh, you name it. If it's seed, it's grown here. Uh, we're the grass seed capital of the world. Uh, along with that, other dry grains, corn, uh, wheat, um, canola. Uh, we grow a lot of uh, specialty seeds, um, spinach and kale and, uh, again, cool season vegetables. Um, filberts or hazelnuts. Um, you have a large operation. Pretty diversified. About 25% of it is uh, irrigatable or underwater, and then the rest is uh, dry land, uh, which goes through rotation every once in a while. And where we're standing here, this has not been tilled up in 25 years. So, mm. wow. Okay, and out here right now, we've got them doing some full field land forming. Yes. And earlier today, I was uh, with your operator and we were cutting ditches and um, trying to drain the low areas of the field. Yeah. But you're incorporating full field this year with Terra Software. We are. How long have you used Terra Software? That's, that's a you question, right? <laughs> so I did a little research, yes, <laughs> since uh, 2018. And we did talk back in 2018 when you first started using Terra Software, and um, you really liked the uh, the advantages of uh, the simplicity of it. You said it was very user friendly at the time, and you were learning along with Pape Machinery, who is the John Deere dealer that supports you in this area, and they do a great job. But they've been learning with you because they were new dealers at the time. Yes. So tell me your experience there. I. Uh we're still learning. We um, were young to the dirt moving application. Mm -hmm. Our farm is uh, is ha hasn't been touched with machinery like this ever. Um, so we, for drainage, we used to uh, run a, an old road grader and you would go out and eyeball your lines and hope that you were to grade and and then after that um uh you would just see with the rain that we get if the water moved or not now with this application uh, we try to um uh, use more and more of its capability every year and uh we still have a long ways to go we don't move the amount of dirt that your professional dirt movers move but it works excellent in our application mm -hmm. and as simply as we're using it right now so mm -hmm. drains this morning uh, uh, a complete surface on the rest of the field uh, this afternoon and then on to the next did it ever worry you to come in and do a full field land forming across moving uh, your topsoil I think with any new application it there's always concerns mm -hmm. it uh especially if you're not familiar right with moving that much volume so we've we've had applications that they they weren't a complete failure but we learned a lot in the mm -hmm. process about being efficient and how to move dirt and and uh not waste time um so over the past uh, few years have you seen a change in your crop yield on the ground that you have done some land forming in yeah it's um it's hard to quantify that mm -hmm. because uh we were talking about pre terracotta uh just a shot in the dark of hoping you were doing your drainage right 
versus now when we're running our application, we know where the water's going exactly. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking at yield data, it's really difficult to, to compare apples to oranges because it's so drastic. So you would take a uh, underperforming part of your given field and have it uh, perform just just as good as your your best ground mm -hmm. and that that's really difficult to wrap your head around um, it's the the software has also given us the ability to attack areas in within our farm that we haven't had access to because of ponding or or low-lying areas and and um, so it, it's just Overall, it's been a positive every time it runs. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I haven't found a circumstance that it's it's been too overwhelming or we haven't been able to make it work, so. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks, I like the feedback. <laughs> so you've used Terra software for uh, drainage and for full field now. Yes. Um, did you ever use it for anything else at yeah. your farm? Yeah, so we've uh, done some pad work or uh, if you're putting up a new building and you need to create um, uh, your site prep, yep, mm -hmm. uh, and it was outstanding. We used uh, just a simple uh, best fit model with um, you know either a zero uh, slope for the pad, and and um, it was no, it was short work. Mm -hmm. It was great. Mm -hmm. So. Well, good. I'm glad you're using it like that. Yeah. And you haven't used Terra Design yet, the desktop software. No. Time is a short commodity. So um, right now, I'd say that the the time that we have between an application and a survey is hours versus mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually, but again, we're novices in dirt moving. Um, so it's just it's just time. But you've been able to accomplish everything in, with the NCAB software, with Terracotta. Oh, totally. We're just not using 100% of its capability. I think we're just scratching the surface. Mm -hmm. And it, even with scratching the surface, it's ease and um, user-friendly uh, design. It's still, do, it's still paying off more than what we've invested in the product, so, if that makes sense. Excellent. Perfect. So um, you're working with Pape Machinery, yes. the John Deere dealer, and um, Barry Peterson. I'm going to talk to him in just a minute. He is um, the manager of all the integrated solutions side of things. How's your experience been working with them? Outstanding. I mean, we were both hand in hand learning together. I would say we would be lost if it wasn't for your expertise because. Uh, you're very passionate about moving dirt, and anybody that follows her on Twitter sees that. Uh, she's always out in the field, and that's that saved us a lot of time and effort. Uh, so we're growing together. Uh, any challenges or applications that come up, we work through those hand in hand, and if we can't figure it out, then you're a phone call away, so. Very good, thank you. Well, thank you, Ryan, for talking with me today You're and welcome. letting me come on and oh, yeah. the field here and move dirt with you. And I'm going to get in the tractor. How about you? <laughs> I don't want to get in the tractor. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Yes. Thank Perfect. You.